Hey, what's up everybody? I hope you're having a great day. If you're new to this channel, my name is Johnny. I'm the owner of Aquabiz and in this video, we're gonna show you how we do a rimless nano tank. So be sure to check it out. And my name is Johnny. Just send me, uh, do me a favor, send me the address and then send me maybe an image of the fish tank and we could go from there because I get text messages all day. Thank you, sir. Have Thanks, a good one. Bye. Take care. Bye. Get you. There Who's that it is, guy? man. Uh, new potential customers. Potential customer. That's a new customer that I. Uh, I guess he has a 75 gallon. I'm guessing saltwater uh, fish tank, and he's hitting me up. And I guess it sounds like he's in an office, and he might have other customers. He said, "You heard him say." He says, "When I go, they follow." So I might be the guy. It might be three fish tanks, four fish tanks. I mean, I don't know. It might be some cubicles. So who knows? You know, we're gonna stop by today for consultation, and we're gonna go from there. Yeah, See what it's all about. So Johnny, what, uh, what items are you gonna use for this new fish tank build? Well, as you can see, we're using the, the UN Systems soil. We're gonna use some fluorine multi for some white wool product, some plants here, some tall plants, some shallow plants, and lifeguard. Lifeguard stone. is that called? Awesome. Smoky Mountain Stone. Mm. Yeah, so are those life this, plants? Uh, Complete multi-nutrient, iron, iodine for planted fish tanks. So pretty good stuff, bright well. And we got the soil in already. And we're gonna do the driftwood, which is the spider driftwood here. I'm gonna have to do something that kind of comes up. You want something that kind of comes up, so. Out of the water? Yeah. Oh, nice. That kind of comes out of the water. So yeah, and then we're gonna let it cycle for a little bit. And yeah, just kind of go from there. So what's the first thing you do? Do you assess like the size of the tank? Yeah. Like for those pieces of wood, like did you know that they were gonna pop out of the tank? Yeah, I knew. Oh. I yeah, we can get them in, in a small, smaller size, but the idea was to really get it out of the fish tank. Kind of like the one he has in his living room, which we're about to see. Mm -hmm. We're gonna service the one in the living room. So yeah. I'm gonna pop all these guys open so that Probably rinse them real quick before we put them in there. And then just kind of go from there. So if someone wanted you to build them a tank like this, how much are they looking to spend? It all depends. For the installation itself, we're probably gonna look at maybe like 175, depending how long I take here. Just, you know, go based on what the client wants, wants uh, tailored to him. So if he kind of wants like, hey, you know, Johnny, I want you to move this, I want you to move that. Then we kind of go based on on that and see how long we take to actually um, do it. Got it. And then do you provide the fish tank or do they have to buy it? We do both. We can oh. bring the fish tank or in this case, he already had this in here. So yeah, we just, <clears throat> we're just gonna just kind of rebuild what he has already here. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't take too long, but Sometimes, you know, I don't really like this rock here. I'm not really feeling this rock here. So it's all, it all boils down to what he wants. So Johnny, is there a specific reason why you went with this type of rock and spiderwood? Uh, two reasons. One of them, we kind of want to match the gray in the kitchen. Uh -huh. And we want to do a little something different from what he already has in his living room. Uh, does that make sense? Yeah. You don't want to have the same repetitive thing twice. Just because it will look funky. You want something, you want to give it a different feel when he's in the kitchen. Like, wow, that's my fish tank in the kitchen and this is my fish tank in my living room. So that's the reason why I went with the darker gray mm -hmm. and the black soil. We could have done brown, but I figured black would probably look a little better. Yeah. Yeah. Hey Johnny, so besides the aquascape yes, and sir. the rocks, is there anything in specific that the owner wants, like the type of fish? 
We haven't, uh, we haven't decided what kind of fish we want in this fish tank. Just because it's 12 gallons, it's so small, we might go with something very, very micro, meaning very tiny fish. Mm -hmm. So we're probably gonna end up doing neon tetras. Uh, or rainbow fish, but rainbow fish tend to get a little larger, so we might stick with just the neon tetras. Something small, I think a blue and a red would pop very nicely inside of the fish tank yeah. and it'll resonate very, very strong. Got it. So then after you, you, you're done with the, the escaping, mm -hmm. how soon after you pour the water, how soon after can you put the fish in? If we if we had if we if we would have added live bacteria we would have added fish instantly but since that's not the case he still hasn't decided what kind of fish he wants to put in here so we're gonna wait mm -hmm. on that we're gonna let it cycle we're gonna let it run and then we'll probably decide next time I'll be here I'm here every two weeks so next time I'll definitely uh, decide what kind of fish we want to put in here. We'll probably put some live bacteria. We kind of get it going for him. For the most part, he just wants to see it. He wants to be able to see, okay, what kind of fish do I really want in here? Does he want cherry bars? Cherry bars are little small fish that are red. Does he want neon tetras that are small and, and blue and a little bit of red? Or does he want, you know, maybe some guppies in here, some very tiny fish? So we still haven't decided. But for the most part, he just wants to see the fish tank up and running with water, with the, obviously with the wood kind of coming up. Like the way we have it here. So Johnny, so this tank is in a in a kitchen setting. Where are all like the filters and like all the other machinery that we've seen in other videos? No, this one here is such a small fish tank that we're gonna put a little hang on the back f uh, filter system on here. So it's not gonna be anything crazy like you guys seen. This is a very, very, these are what you would call nano setups, very tiny setups. And I usually don't get involved in such things unless it's an office. Uh, we do get involved, but for the most part, we kind of, we kind of just tailor to bigger fish tanks that are not as small as this. I don't think we'll be servicing this one. I know he had it for a while. So he was servicing it himself. So we're just kind of doing the the idea of the aquascaping for him so he doesn't deal with it in the long run. Yeah. So this type of tank is something like your average maybe newcomer can manage? Yeah, this is something for beginners. If you're at home, if you wanna do something very small, it's a 12 gallon nano tank. I mean, it takes very little to no maintenance and anyone can maintain this. That's why we don't, not that we don't service these, but it just wouldn't be, if you're really to pay attention to what we do to the fish, and be like, man, I'm paying you to do this. So I'm not, we're not here to rip anyone off. We're just here to spread knowledge. We're here to help people out. So this is something that anyone can do at their own um, time with their own uh, fish tank at home or in their offices so we're not like we're sitting here trying to you know we're gonna do a 50% gallon water change 20% gallon water change is something that we just go ahead and set it up for you and it's very easy for anyone at home to maintain if you're interested in any of the products here the links the links will be down in the description below and please be sure to share uh, to a friend or family who wants to maybe start a fish tank or who's maybe thinking about getting a fish tank in their office or in the kitchen so Johnny for a tank like this at what temperature will it be kept at this fish tank right here will probably be kept anywhere from 78 to 80 degrees, depending on the type of fish he decides to go with. Yeah. But for the most part, that's the standard uh, temperature that we want. And we have a heater that's already set for this. So it's already set to 78 to 80, anywhere between there. It, it'll keep, it'll stay. Excuse me, and it'll keep that temperature. These are live aquatic plants, meaning they live underwater. <clears throat> and we're gonna keep them alive by feeding them these nutrients oh. yeah so he's gonna have to feed them uh, depends weekly bi-weekly depends on his schedule mm -hmm. yeah so this bottle is just just nutrients that they would otherwise get like in their natural environment or yes yes that's what we're gonna feed them this tank was already here correct yes this tank was already here so why did they decide to get it redone he lost his beta fish Oh yeah, right. I don't know what happened. Maybe the water might have, uh, <clears throat> maybe the water might have been bad. But I know last time I was here, he had a, he had beta fish all over all over this fish tank. There was a handful of beta fish and female beta fish. So maybe something happened with the water, um, the maintenance. But something must have happened with his beta tank. So yeah. he just decided, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and do it like the one in my living room mm -hmm. and kind of go from there. So 
that's why he called me and he says, yeah, let's do this. You know, the sooner the better, Johnny. I'm like, cool. Let me see when I can get out here. So he's been waiting on me like two days, two, three days. I think maybe, yeah, two days that he called me. Two days ago, he called me and he was like, hey man, I really want to get this done. Yeah. When can we find the time to do this? I really want to update my fish tank. Yeah. So Johnny, can these plants be put in a saltwater tank since this was a freshwater tank? These like plants here? Yeah. No, they can't. A lot of people think they can. And sometimes I've had customers who want to buy these live plants, but no, these are only for freshwater tanks. Freshwater. So are there plants that can go in both kinds of tanks? There, actually, I don't. It's a good question. That's a really good question. I think, I don't know, I'm not too sure about mangroves. I think mangroves might be brackish where the river meets the ocean, but that's a really good question. I mean, if anybody out there knows uh, if there's any plants, like I'm guessing green plants you're talking about, right? That can actually go in the fresh water and salt water, uh, comment down below. Hey John, so what kind of water are you gonna use to fill up this tank? We're gonna use water directly from here. The faucet? Yeah. And then what treatment are you gonna use? Cause it's, it's faucet water, right? So it might have like chlorine or stuff like that. We use a water conditioner, what I always carry. Okay. In this case, we could have brought RODI water. Usually I always like using RODI water when it comes to freshwater plants. But since this was a very last minute job, I mean, we just rushed it. I mean, you've seen how we were, we were just driving and straight to the point. There was really no time to finagle. Mm -hmm. Hey John, so can you give us an update on the tank build? It looks like you have all the, the rocks in place already. What do you, what do you have left to do? Uh, what we have left to do is I'm gonna post it on the, in, on the gram, on Instagram. Nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, we're waiting for him to bring an internal filter. Like I said, it was such a last minute, but we always provide filters and whatnot. Mm -hmm. We were in the area and I told him, yeah, I could swing by and kind of aquascape, you know, what, what you want us to do and we kind of go from there. Yeah. So are you gonna be pouring in the water today or? Yes, sir, we're gonna put all the water in today. It's gonna to be ready to rock and roll. Uh, not with fish yet, because we have to put the, 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 the bacteria, mm -hmm. but within the next uh, week or so, he's gonna be able to add fish once we add the live beneficial bacteria inside of the fish tanks. Yeah, Inside the fish tank, I say, I should say. Hey, Johnny, so do you enjoy doing this with, to the plants? Uh, to the plants or the job? For the job. Mm, yeah, I, I, something different. Yeah. And the reason I kind of hesitated was because I kind of hate doing this, but I like doing this. Yeah. So it kind of evens out. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's what you see. Like, I hate, ugh. Because you don't want none of that stuff floating in this fish tank. Oh, okay. So I'm just trying to like, and I don't want to damage the plants either. So I have to do it very slowly. And just so that we don't have any of this stuff. What is that stuff? Aquarium. Like dirt? No, it's just like like uh, like a type of foam to keep the plants moist. Mm -hmm. So when they ship them out, when you transfer them, they hold a little bit of water. It keeps them moist. It keeps the plants very moist. All right, Johnny. So what we got left? Just to fill it up. I have a question for you now, bro. All right. How do you think it came out? Don't lie to me, bro. From one to ten, you not knowing anything about fish tanks. What do you think, bro? Realistically, hold on. Let me let not me. Not knowing it. anything about fish tanks. Yeah, not knowing anything about fish tanks. Do you think they looks, this looks cool or it looks like whatever? Yeah, I like that. That these are like, like the it's coming out, like uh, like it's alive, you know. All right. I'll give it a ten out of ten. I mean, I don't know what I'm looking at, but it looks cool. Do you want to give us an update on the tank? Yeah, we're just finishing up. We're gonna install the filter, fill it up, and that's it, man. Ready to rock and roll. So 
there you guys have it. This is how we installed a rimless nano tank. If you like the content that you see, please be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and drop some comments below if you have any ideas, or I'm even open to take uh, criticism from you guys if you guys have done better jobs than this. Let me know, you know, I, I love, you know, I'm an open book, I'm open to, to be taught by someone else who might have more experience than me. So stay tuned and thank you guys for checking out this video. Catch you on the next one.